Welcome to this monthly pickup. It feels kind of weird saying monthly as opposed to weekly. And we'll start off with the Nintendo DS and the first game is Drawn a Life. Unfortunately, there's a GameStop sticker right there blocking off life, but Drawn a Life. Um, the reason why I got this, I always was kind of interested in it, but I didn't want to pay it for full price and I ended up spending like 18 bucks minus whatever the discount is for your edge card, but uh, yeah, I got this just because Scribble Knots is on its way out September 15th. I can't wait to play that game. And this is a step before Scribble Knots. I mean, you can create your character, um, put it into the game world. You draw objects that go into the game world to help you traverse around the the environment. It's really cool. A lot of fun. It is a little bit kitty, but if you can get past all that, you know, it is a lot of fun. And it's really cool. Next up is a game that I've been talking a lot about. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll get random updates every now and again about my Fossil Fighters addiction. Yes, Fossil Fighters for the Nintendo DS. I'm going to be doing a video review for this on uh, ConsoleKings.com, which is a great site, if you, especially if you guys are into hip-hop. It's an awesome site. Um, go and check that out, ConsoleKings.com. When I put my video review up, I will definitely let you know. So, Fossil Fighters. Next up is a game that I bought yesterday at Best Buy. Got a lot of games yesterday, or three games yesterday at Best Buy, but this is one of them, Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Um, this is an amazing game. I've only played 30 minutes of it, and I want more. Um, there's 150 brain teasers in the game, and so far the story is actually pretty cool. I have a problem with this box art, though. I mean, maybe it's just me being silly, but I just hate this down here. This, the, All of this should have just been the whole entire box art out uh, of the cover. These puzzles have to go. It just makes it look weird. I don't know. This is another game I got at Best Buy yesterday, which I have not opened up yet. It's The City of Final Fantasy. And the cool thing about this one is, I don't know if you guys can check that out, but it comes with um, a 12-month, oh, I'm sorry, a 16-month calendar. So I'll definitely let you guys see what that looks like after I'm done with this, showing you guys what I got. I also got Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I mainly got this for my son uh, because he really wanted to play this game. And he ended up beating it. His very first game that he beat in, like entirely, completely. He was so excited. And I beat it. So we're going to do a video review on it, which should be up sometime this weekend. I also got Call of Juarez Blood and Bound, which I have yet to open up uh, because I want to complete the first Call of Juarez. Uh, but I got this for, I think it was $40 new. And this has gotten all right reviews. I initially asked on Twitter if I should get this game or Red Faction Gorilla. And, um, I, I guess Red Faction won. A lot of people said Red Faction was better. Well, they were both great games, but Red Faction won. Went to go look for Red Faction and couldn't find it, so I ended up getting Call of Juarez, Blood and Bound. All right, so now we're getting into the good stuff here. Not that that wasn't good. All those games are great, but um, the game that you probably have been, you know, hoping to see, Batman Arkham Asylum. And yes, it is on the PlayStation 3. Once again on Twitter, I was stumped, guys. I didn't know. So I went on Twitter and I was like, hey, you know, I'm not sure if I should get it for the 360 or the PS3. What do you guys suggest? I got a lot of equal, you know, votes. PS3, 360. A lot of people said get it for the 360 because it looks better. Get it for the PS3 because it has the Joker challenge maps. Or you can play as the Joker. I ended up getting it for the PS3 and I'm so excited because I've been playing it and I love it. Um, this is my first multi-platinum game that I have purchased on the PS3 so this is special to me. But uh, yeah, I got this. Greatness. And since I got it at Best Buy, I got a $10 gift card and I also got this which is a double feature Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero and Batman Mask of the Phantoms. Phantoms? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I haven't seen this. My, my son will probably watch it, but I thought that was pretty cool. You got a lot of stuff with that. And finally, the last game from Best Buy. I had to go back to Best Buy because they didn't have it there yesterday. Metroid Prime Trilogy for the Nintendo Wii. 
the collector's edition and thumbs up to Nintendo guys you guys are awesome you did a collector's edition which is basically the only edition that you can get and it's pretty thick so let's go ahead and open this up and see what what's inside okay guys so here we have it Metroid Prime Trilogy let's open it up see what's inside I haven't seen too many unboxings for this um, I've seen a ton of Batman Arkham Asylum unboxings for just the regular game so hopefully this will be a treat to you guys out there that don't have this game yet now I do have Metroid Prime for the GameCube and I have Metroid Prime 3 for the Wii. Never had Metroid Prime 2 Echo, so this is going to be a treat. Alright, so we got this cool, let's see, slip cover here. You guys can see that, just a plain old slip cover. And this really sweet case. It's really nice. Good job, Nintendo. Hooking it up. Open it up here. Okay, so you got the standard disc right here. The game with all three games on it, which is amazing. All of those games are like, they're mad long. I mean, it's crazy because it's like a first person adventure action type of game. You know, I don't want to call it a first person shooter because it's not that. I mean, there's some shooting, but you know, you guys get the gist. Got your manual right here. Nice and thick for all three games. And let's see what this is. We got the Club Nintendo stuff, which I'm going to use. <laughs> um, this cool little Metroid Prime Trilogy booklet. It's the history of Metroid Prime. It's pretty cool. Really nice. And some little, I don't know, check out these other Nintendo products. But I think that's awesome. And you guys should also check this out. Let's push this out, pop that out. Check that out. That is, that's so cool. That should see. Same is right there. That's really nice. All right, let's check out the Final Fantasy stuff. Um, okay, so here it says this game is, or the 16-month calendar is exclusive to Best Buy. So let's go ahead and open it up here. My goodness. I'm not going to open the game up. I just want to open up the calendar and see what that's all about. Okay. It's pretty cool. Somehow it's connected. There we go. Alright. It's actually really neat. Let's try to open this up. Okay. Wow. Okay, this is... I didn't expect this, but... The City of Final Fantasy, and you have your different months. January 2010, March 2010, oh wait, they're on the back too. Okay, February, so you got January, February, March, April, May. Okay. June. <laughs> That's pretty cool. July. Like that. August. September. October. And November and December. It's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's a great desk calendar. A lot of great stuff and you know it's for all different Final Fantasies. So that's gonna be really cool. That's awesome. Well there you have it guys. Unboxings and monthly pickups. Check in next time.